passeio guiado por Renata Falzoni na companhia de Tinker Juárez nas trilhas do Parque do Ibirapuera. I still like training hard. I, I haven't changed my, my training that much. It's still hard, you know, every day I ride my bike. And uh, so I, I think that's probably one of the reasons why I still am able to go, you know, still do good in my bike racing. I live in uh, Los Angeles and so I train up in the mountains by my house. And uh, uh, my long days are like four, four and a half hours. And, uh, It's like about uh, 70 miles. As long as I've been racing, I know how to push myself hard. And I know I should feel tired on the easy day, so I, I use that as a recovery. Sometimes I'll do two long days and then one recovery day, or sometimes I'll train easy, hard, easy, hard. But I'm always training where I need to uh, focus on my climbing, because that's where I get my strength and my power. And so uh, I think that's one of the secrets that has kept me in the sport is because uh, I, I love to climb. I feel like I could conquer, you know, whatever is in front of me. By Monday, I start to slow down the week before. And so I, I give myself enough time to uh, be fresh for the, to, for the race on the weekend. Now I always train mostly on my road bike because I, when I race my mountain bike, One race, I'll race like uh, maybe uh, 70, 80 miles. And so the rest of the week, I just need to ride on my road bike. Road biking is the, the best training. Out of seven days of the week, I train five, six days on my road bike. I could still eat pretty much, you know, almost anything I like. And I ask the local people, you know, what is good to eat? And, and then I eat what they, they believe is good for them. I don't have any picky diets. So I get older, I don't worry too much about what I eat so much because as you get older, it's harder to uh, burn the calories, you know. One of the best things about biking is that you get to uh, ride your bike and you get to eat what you like to eat.